Hey everyone, Mommy Reporter here. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm doing a product review on the Go Bible. I don't know if you've uh, heard of it or seen the commercial. Basically what it is, it's an MP3 player that comes fully loaded with the Bible already uh, on it. And um, this is a disappointing review, but I'll get to that in a second. So this will be a review on the Gold Bible Voyager. So it comes in a package like this, a uh, blister pack, and um, so I got the NIV version. And all I can say is that I'm very disappointed. This is what it looks like here. If you can, oops, if you can see that. And uh, I mean, I, I really don't know where to start because uh, I, I, this is like the second one I got. I returned the first one because it had a nick on the screen, so this is my re returned one. And, you know, for $100, I expected something to be a little bit better quality, and this is definitely not it. First off, uh, the plastic on it is very, very cheap. It's not like a good, sturdy, quality plastic. It's uh, it's like thin. If, if you were to drop this thing, I think um, it probably would shatter. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> trying not to be so negative right up front, but uh, it's just it's just not very well made. It um, the screen is kind of like that old school. Remember that old school cell phone green screen? You know, it's not color. It's not uh, anything interesting about it. So, I mean, I'm very disappointed, actually. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to return it and ask for a refund or if I'm just going to keep it. It's just, it's flimsy. Another thing is my headphones are uneven. I don't know if you can see that, but like, okay, one is up here and the other one is down here. And you can't adjust it. Like, I thought I could pull this little tab thing. But this tap thing doesn't even move, so I can't adjust the headphones. So I either got a defective pair or they're just cheap. Um, another thing I don't like about it is uh, the guy that's reading it is uh, Charles Taylor that says on the package, and it's, it's pretty monotone reading. There's no uh, dramatic sound effects. There's no uh, differentiation like when Jesus is speaking. It's just one guy reading straight through, and that's it, which is okay. You know, I didn't have a problem with that, but um, I just thought it would be a little bit more entertaining to listen to, and it's not. Uh, um, this one, it says that um, you can also, uh, there's room on it for you to download uh, other stuff. So if you wanted to add music or something, you could, but I wouldn't do that, not on this. I wouldn't. It's just not sturdy enough for me. I guess I'm just spoiled with my iPod because my iPod is so durable. I've dropped it and, the, and just it's a much better quality made uh, piece of equipment. And so maybe I was having uh, too high of expectations for this thing. But I mean, I think it's good. I just I'm just disappointed in the quality of it. And I'm disappointed in the headphones that are uneven and the cheap plastic that it's made and the the recording is not that great. The screen is 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 like that old school. Uh, remember those old digital watch? I mean, it's just it's just not good. Um, and I feel disappointed that I spent a hundred dollars on it, and I'm so unhappy. And there's so many things wrong. Uh, you do get a USB cord to play it. Um, it runs on a AAA battery, so that's kind of another drawback. Uh, because you can't recharge it, so you have to keep batteries on you. And if you plan on listening to the whole entire Bible, you know one battery is not going to last. Um, I don't know what else to say other than that. I'm very unhappy with my purchase. And like I said, I may return it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, if you were asking me if I think you should buy this, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you want to hear the Bible on an MP3 or take your Bible to go, I would recommend buying the Bible on CD and then just uploading that or importing that into iTunes and then putting it on your iPod or some other way because uh, this is a, a disappointment. So 
That's all I can say about it. Thanks again for checking in. This is Mommy Reporter, and I'll see you next time.